What's up guys? Welcome back to Shredcraft RC. I'm Cam and uh, something pretty cool happened this past weekend. Scale Science held a fun competition, nothing too serious, and it was during the Super G uh, Drift World Championship so we got to kind of watch the really good guys uh, all throughout the world compete as well as hold our own little fun comp. We've done a few fun comps before at scale before in the past where they're just for fun and I got to admit I would let some of the judging calls get to me. What I've realized over the past few years that I've been driving RC drift cars is that we're essentially playing with toy cars so I had to go back to the mindset of having fun. That's what helped me out this past weekend and I ended up winning the competition. I kind of wanted to go over my thoughts now that I've had a few days to kind of think about the competition and how much fun it was and going into it to have fun instead of going into it with the mindset of oh I gotta beat this guy or I gotta drive better than this guy it was a really fun experience so I gotta say when I got there the first thing I did was I took the LP86 out on track but they already had a track set up and people were tandem practicing so I immediately went back to the pit and got this car I have the Lamborghini body on this one right now because I was using my swivel camera mount which mounts up here on top of the motor mount and the camera can actually swing around the roof of this car because it's such a low roof line but it's not really like a drift car body per se i mean it is but who's out there drifting lamborghinis so after winning the competition it was super cool because jordan from scale science shout out to scale science they gave a body for a prize which was super cool because i was needing a new body anyway i was kind of over the lamborghini here is what i've been working on the past week but this is the rev d addiction s15 and I went a little wild with it. So you can see there's a little contrast between these two. Cause I wanted to make like a comp style body. One of my first comp, I wanna make a comp body. Even though S15s have a large overhang over the rear wheels, I just think they are kind of like the epitome of what a drift car looks like. Maybe a little too ambitious on the paint job. I did have some mistakes, some of the overspray bled through the silver there. And then some of my masks on the Shredcraft logo came out, but there are some cool aspects and I'm gonna finish this body up in this video, show you guys kind of my sticker job. You guys see me paint bodies and design liveries before. And if you haven't, check out these other videos. Yeah, I wanted to kind of go over the competition experience because it was super fun. And uh, then we'll get to finishing that body. So like I said, I showed up, drove the LP86 first, bad idea. So I went back, grabbed this car, and then jumped into tandem practice. The other mistake I made that night was I put brand new tires on. And that's not something that I always do at Scale Science because I feel like the tires get more traction the more you drive. My first few laps in practice were kind of all over the place and I was running into the walls quite a bit, just not having a good feeling or a good connection with the car. So I took the wheels off the LP86 and we run LF5. DS Racing LF5 tires on our polished concrete track. I had a set scrubbed in from the other car, I decided to swap wheels over, and then I went out for a few more practice laps and the car felt good, felt really good. But my gyro was a little off and the steering was still shaking a little bit. And of course all these problems haven't arisen until it's the couple hours before the competition. So went back to the pits, didn't really do anything with steering, kind of left it be, but I played with the gyro a little bit, the Revox gyro, which I run in this car, I'm running about 55%, between 55 and 54, and then I'm on the second blue flash. That's where I left it and that's where I felt good. After I kind of got the gyro sorted, went back out for more practice and just kind of had some fun laps where I tried to drive with every different driver that was out there. So then I could get a feel for how that person was gonna enter off the first corner because everyone enters differently. And I feel like if I'm too aggressive in my chase, somebody who might be a newer driver who's not as dialed into our track and how the grip is, they might be a little more timid as they enter. So me being a chase driver, I wanted to make sure I kind of got a feel how every different car entered off the entry because then I could tuck back in and I knew the rest of the track how I could chase the lead car. It ended up working out where I didn't bump anyone except for Andy and I'm sorry I hit I, I bumped him a little bit on the inside zone um, 
and we ended up going one more time on that battle because we both had mistakes in our chase and i think i have clips of all these battles that i can kind of put in over my talking here yeah the first two battles were really good both good drivers and i was just kind of getting a feel you going competitions way different than driving party laps where my hands were sweaty and I was kind of nervous but I kept trying to keep in my head to have fun and enjoy each run with each different driver and there's a couple drivers at our track who are dialed in drivers who are consistent and on the money line every single lap and I was kind of lucky in how they did the random brackets where I was on the opposite side of the bracket as Raquel was so um I knew there was a chance that we'd battle up near the top and it uh, she's always someone who's super consistent and super dialed in on her line and someone who you always kind of get sweaty against uh, when you get bracketed with her or Dan for that matter. Yeah, after that we kept kind of going up the battles. I had one, one more time in the final four with Andy and uh, Andy is a really good driver, an amazing painter of RC drift cars. And he's been putting in the work down with Opposition RC and kind of running, help run the show down there. So shout out to Opposition RC and uh, especially to Mac who was out competing at Worlds at Super G. So it was cool getting to watch him while we were kind of having our own little competition. It was a super fun battle with Andy. He's definitely very equal, hence the one more time. Like he was on the line and, and I tried to keep up with him as best I could. And then after that, we moved on to the final competition. And forgive me now I'm slipping your name, but I'll put it right here. One of these guys from out of town, I'm terrible with names, but he was a really good driver, had a really cool painted Supra. He ended up beating Raquel in his bracket and moved on to the finals. So we got to run a uh, awesome final tandem battle. I think I might've got it just because I was a little wider in the uh, first zone is what it looked like on some of these clips. But um, yeah, the Scarab RDX was feeling really good. This car, I, I haven't changed anything as far as the alignment from my last alignment video. I am running my lower battery mount. I just feel like the car probably responds a little better and with this Lambo body, it suited fitting that body a little better. I haven't touched this thing. I've, it's probably been three months since I've done any tuning on it. I've just been driving it and just been really focusing on how the car reacts. And in some of my findings, I found that having a stiffer front shock and and having actual, having more compression rather than droop in the front really helped my RDX respond uh, to my steering inputs and get, allowed me to have a lot more aggressive flicks into the corners and remain stable. I think maybe I was bottoming the shocks out, having them so loose up front. And then in the rear, again, having a little more spring rather than droop helped, I think the rear end react more in those rear tires, having a better contact patch on the ground, especially in some of the tighter corners where I felt like I can really suck up to people and then kind of pull away as I'm picking up traction with this chassis. So again, this is my RDX scared conversion. These aren't available right now, but if I get enough requests, I can set up another pre-order and um, get these chassis out to you guys. So yeah, that's about it. I ended up winning the Wall Rider 1000, the first one. There's another one coming next month. I'll be sure to do a, another video kind of recap on that. And yeah, I just want to say thanks to all you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who gave me congratulations. I was it was pretty cool to see how many people like thank or. Uh, say congratulations to me. So thanks again. And yeah, let's get to getting this new body on. I think it's gonna be a pretty direct fit since it's a Rev-D chassis, Rev-D body. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Well, uh, part of the competition was that there were prizes donated. So I got a roll cage from Drew Ball, 3D printed. Make sure you check them out. Uh, I'm gonna get that in this car and then SRC sideways donated a bunch of goodies I got a meat a set of mirrors some hood latches a window net so and then like some toe straps so those are definitely going on this body and then uh, some wipers some door handles and then mile high RC donated a 
light kit. So this is an underglow kit with these cool LED strips. And maybe that'll go on this car, maybe it'll go on the LP86 with the other lights. Um, we'll see, we'll have to plug them in and see what they do. But yeah, stay tuned, we'll dive into this car and uh, get going. This is my makeshift paint booth for now, but uh, I got all of the accessories and stuff drying, just backed with black, daylights, headlights. This is the roll cage by Drew, Drew Ball. And then the rest of the wing parts there. So get all that drying and then start assembling. I'm working on the body now and a couple of issues I've got to fix. Some of the paint ran through the masks. Um, put down a wet coat of black to coat and it looks like it ran down the seams in the front rear window. So I'm hoping just some dabs of acetone can clean that up a little bit. And then my overspray mist bled through the silver when I sprayed my text here. Rookie mistake. So I've made a mask that's going to be a satin black inlay that should fit in the scoop and then go up to the other black. And then I was thinking maybe some sponsor stickers there on the side and maybe a few up front. We'll see. Um, kind of got my sticker selection going here. Stuff I may use, stuff I may not use, but uh, just ideas. So this one's pretty wild. Let's see what we can do. So while I was thinking of updates, I figure we'll install this cool little SRC toe strap. So what I did, still got the layer protective mask on here. I just cut a little slit to put that through and then I'll tack it with a piece of glue on the back side. So let's go ahead and remove this. And I'll of course get beauties at the end of this video, but uh, it's always kind of a satisfying feeling pulling that plastic. So take my toe strap here. started and I'll kind of pull it to the length I want dangling just a little bit something like that and take a uh, standard E6000 just put a little tack there and I'll just hold it for a few and that's what it looks like when it's all finished up on there and here I have the front bumper. I'm going to do the same thing. Got a little slick cut. That'll go in there. But first, the satisfying part. Regulator. SRC sideways. that in there like that. Well once again I forgot to start the time lapse but I made some progress getting the light buckets glued in here starting to assemble the wing got the window net and Drew's roll cage parts kind of tacked in there the rear light buckets and picking out some stickers seeing where stuff will go but making progress i'll try and update more as stuff goes together give you guys a little update here that i started peeling some of the mask because i had to glue the bumpers on got the light buckets in i got the src sideways uh, window net 
couple stickers going on and then the spoiler is being glued right now so that's all taped up and then when it's finished I'm gonna finish up uh, picking out what stickers I want on and then to the beauty shots and wrapping this up but I also just wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff I had to do to my chassis to make this fit as I had to go some longer body posts they're not cut yet because I'm getting the ride height all set I'll have to put a battery in here um, and then on the front I have the standoffs to my custom tie bulkhead brace for the RDX so a super simple setup and it takes a lot of the weight of that front mount bumper mount uh, off the chassis and kind of bring some of the weight back so that's my idea there and then the wild style comp style body so I will be sure to set the camera on the tripod when I do the peeling of the protective layer and you can kind of see all the flake going on in this body maybe not on camera but uh, hopefully in some of the photos so I'm gonna keep uh, well, I'm going to let that glue dry, and then I will film this layer coming off for you guys. So I think the glue has dried enough. I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of this protective layer. Got it on there, just sitting basically because I put a bunch of stickers on. So let's see what this thing looks like. Pretty rad. Definitely fits the comp uh, comp car style, I say. I did mess up the windshield because I went ahead and wiped those paint smears with acetone. That's why I didn't film. It was a big mistake. I used alcohol in the rear, and paint came right off. So lesson learned. Um, kind of saved that spot for a sticker. Sun cuts in and SRC represented along with Hobby Wing and then some of my friends' businesses. Uh, Great Day Tattoo, my tattoo artist, Bonfire Burritos, Buddy's Restaurant, Scale Science, of course, Local Track. Got them represented on the side as well. I attempted a little paint fade with the Shredcraft logo. All of that is paint. So lots of different colors, lots of different masking, some mess ups because I am not the best painter and I might have rushed some things, but the fade came out pretty good. As you can see, the roof is actually green, not black. And then got the high vis shred hand and Wu-Tang dope sticker, Denver custom wraps, Primo, Got them all on there, so I think that thing looks pretty cool. Probably time for some beauty shots. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that little comp recap and prize body build, all the accessories. Again, big shout out and thanks to Scale Science for providing the prizes and hosting such an awesome, fun competition. And then a uh, big thanks to SRC Sideways for all the cool accessories that came with the body and Drew Ball for the 3D printed roll cage that's in this car. Also a big thanks to Hobby Wing for having awesome electronics. Keep uh, all my vehicles driving, everything from my crawlers to my drift cars. And shout out to Senkat Sen for having all these awesome parts. And hopefully I can have something in the future where you guys can buy my designs for these chassis. So yeah, 
I want to uh, kind of know what you guys think. I know this is a little wild. This one's a little more wild style, kind of a little contrast to the past bodies I've built recently. Can't wait to get this one on track, get some more shots of it in action, stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you check out all my other videos. I got a bunch of tutorials and stuff on how to tune your RC drift car, especially with the alignment, and mostly pertaining to the Rev D RDX. That's my chassis of choice. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up. That helps me a lot. I will have some more videos for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.